I actually have the right thing. There we go. Okay. Oh, that, that, that's fine, baby. Um, ha have fun. All right. I've always wondered what would happen if you actually tried to curse during um, the introduction. Would it be a case that they just um, punish you somehow or whatever? of you know jack too we're at it oh hello thank you for joining us on the re-ride flying solo good for you some of my best time is alone time indeed is this your first time on the re-ride welcome is, back uh... we all had great fun with you last time and these are your buzzers oh, yeah. as per usual yep the space and the inner key Please allow me to remind you that this is a non-profit fan project in no way associated with Jackbox Games. And now it is time to begin the re-ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of The Ray Ride is sponsored by the Ministry of Fred and Games. We let them have it. And here's your host, the ruthless ringleader of The Ray Ride, Conan Blinkenberg. Greetings, future footnote in history, or perhaps its next chapter. You've sided with the rebels, ready to charge barricades and wave flags. Just remember, they don't usually include the weeks of hiding in damp basements in those rousing movie montages. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Book burnings, brutal beheadings, belligerent blowouts. It's all fair game on floor 451. Let's peek into the very soul of rebellion and go on a revolutionary ride. Okay, get in. Cool, cool. And now it's time for a little question I like to call... USA! 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 So the USA as a country are, as we all know, the direct result of rebellion against the British Crown. Let us commemorate this momentous occasion with some all-American trivia. Oh, what fateful day did the Founding Fathers sign the Declaration of Independence? Monday, July 4th, 1776. Tuesday, July 4th, 1776. Wednesday, July 4th, 1776. Or Thursday, July 4th, 1776. Oh, God bless your answer, and God bless the United States of America. Yeah. The Founding Fathers, I'll God bless it. their souls, signed the Declaration of Independence on Thursday, July 4th, 1776. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I need to take a shower after that. Okie dokie. Now playing... The Cool Refreshing Taste of Protest. Let's stick with the American Revolution for another moment. You've probably heard about the Boston Tea Party in 1773, often sure. called a pivotal moment in the American Revolution. Well, because its parent company has had the highest revenue in 2023, which of these sponsored Boston Tea Party reenactments are we most likely to see in the future? The Boston Snapple Ice Tea Party, the Boston Gold Peak Ice Tea Party, the Boston Arizona Ice Tea Party, or the Boston Brisk Ice Tea Party? I'm gonna go with Snapple. Oh dear. It was Arizona, wasn't it? Brisk is a PepsiCo brand, and PepsiCo absolutely whoops everyone else's asses at a whopping $91.5 billion of revenue in 2023. PepsiCo, huh? I'm sorry, we're all out of tea here at the Boston Harbor. Is coffee okay? Pick a valley that looks good to you. Here's your category for this next question. Okay. Down with the system of a down. 
We going? We going. Let's do it. If a bunch of punks brought a bunch of punk to a punk concert, what might they end up doing with it? Throw a huge orgy, set the venue on fire, help construct the stage, or cover the floor in a thick liquid. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Here we go. Materials used as tinder to light fires are called punk. And since smoke rises to the top, the best thing to do when a fire breaks out is to let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor. Wow. All right, we can't move on. Wrangle Dangle Smirk Dirk Roof and Tuffy. <laughs> Gibberish question? Uh, <clears throat> if, uh, if that isn't a bunch of. All right, well, um, cool. It's gibberish time. All right. Here's the actual category for this gibberish question. The story of the chess-loving spider. Don't forget, I'll be taking away more and more cash the longer you take to solve this. They'll make it fast. Take a look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what famous phrase it rhymes with. Weave my head, kiss pawns. And don't mind the punctuation. Weave my head, kiss pawns. It's a historic rallying cry. <laughs> or some such. Weave my head. Which is not in English. Okay. Oh boy, this is my favorite part. Oh. Pardon my French, but you suck. Vive la résistance, a remnant of past days unthinkable to us, in which the wealthy held all of the power and led opulent and excessive lives while the common working folk worked back-breaking labor, were systematically oppressed and had their rights threatened on the regular, and were paid scraps for work that was vital and integral to keeping society run- Oh, wait a second. Hit your buzzer at the right- Coming up next. I'm not loving it. None of us are loving it. I've got 3,498 one dollar bills, if you've got a right answer. Which of these menu items will you not find during actual historic rebellions week at your local restaurant? Single malt whiskey rebellion on the rocks, peanut butter rebellion on jelly delight, watermelon riot smoothie, or scrambled egg revolt and bacon? I have no words. What a rebellion is real. Uh, all right. I knew I'll the West you. rebellion was. There's no such thing as an egg revolt. The closest egg thing revolt. I've ever seen to an egg revolt is when a bunch of Redditors got mad and started screaming and jumping when my local Mickey D's ran out of Egg McMuffins. Oh. All right, we'll need some... Now that is what I call a value. And here is what I call yeah. this question. Toppling monarchies at record speeds. That is value, all right. Oh boy, playing for $9,110 here. So, better pay good attention to this one. How often could the overworked cylinder heads inside the 2024 Renault Formula One hybrid engine overthrow their oppressors? About 900 French revolutions per minute, about 6,000 French revolutions per minute, about 15,000 French revolutions per minute, or about 40,000 French revolutions per minute? I'm gonna go with 15,000. Weave my head kiss pawns indeed. Thank you. Most Formula One engines are limited to 15,000 RPM under the current FIA technical regulations. Clearly, the bourgeoisie is scared of the proletariat. Rise against your overlords, call your friends to arms, and... Oh dear, it looks like Ferrari set its own haystacks on fire again. Hit your buzzer when a good value flies. And the next question we're dealing with is called... May the farce be May with the you. May the farce be with you. Okay, let's jump right into it. If spies from the rebel fleet discovered that Emperor Palpatine of the Galactic Empire was Galactophorus, what headline might they give their hit piece condemning him to the rest of the galaxy? You should know Adulterer Palpatine reproduces several times a day. We always knew it, now there's proof Palpatine the least bright thing in existence. It's true, your breakfast milk might have come from Palpatine's teats. Or exposed how Palpatine is merely an empty husk full of gas. I think it's for... This answer smells... Like... Duty. Let me teach you a thing or two about the Milky Way. Galactophorus means bearing milk. Good, oh. good. Let your hate flow through, oh dear. What's that, Emperor? Is that... <laughs> it's all up... 
Oh, nice. And here is your category. Let's get ready to rebel. So a year has 12 months and a primetime boxing bout goes 12 rounds, right? Well, if one month was equivalent to one round, how would the Boxer Rebellion have ended if it had been a boxing bout? First round knockout, TKO at the halfway point, judge's decision after going the distance, or towel thrown deep into the rematch after a full first fight? I think it was... You wiped the floor with that question. Thank you. The Boxer Rebellion lasted almost two years, so almost two full fights worth of rounds. Though these days I'm more of a UFC Rebellion type myself. Just watch okay, out we need some ears. Eyes on the road, it's Roadkill. Remember to buzz in when the item flies by that correctly connects the current pair. And as always, there's some bonus cash to be won at the end of the round, so stay sharp. Ready to go? Good, then let's begin. White blank and blank roulette. Brush it. Blank checkers and blank new year. Chinese. Samoa and Blank Express. American. Subgenre of metal and blank rate magnets. Heavy. Oh, industrial. Types of revolutions, obviously. Excuse my blank and blank kiss. French. German Beer Fest Month, and the Hunt for Red Blank. October. Fallout Boy Song, and Wiggles Album. And Stance Revolution. So far so good, and now for the bonus. What do all of the correct answers have in common? Are they y'all? Types of punk music, historic dictatorships, notable rebel. Oh yeah! They are all notable revolutions. Long live the people! Let's take a look at your head count. Quick look at your current score in case you need more numbers in your life. Got enough? Yeah, me too. All right. I've got a question for. Thank you, and here is your category. Protests and penny pinching. Okay, let's move on to the... What the... Mr. Blankenberg, we, the writers of this show, demand a significant raise, and we are all resigning, effective immediately. Oh, what? You want a raise? With what money? We're already paying you all we can spare. Well, all you can spare is no longer enough. An anonymous benefactor has reached out to us and promised us way more than what you're paying. Wait, what? Really? An anonymous benefactor? Don't try to switch the topic, Mr. Blankenberg. We want a raise or we're walking. Well, how much do you want? A grand per writer. Per writer? Per writer. Are you insane? That is our demand. Take it or leave it. How are we supposed to... Uh, okay. You know what? Fine. A thousand dollars per writer. You can have it. Very good, Mr. Blankenberg. You won't regret this. F***ing terrorists. Conan, are you out of your mind? How are we gonna... Relax. There's a part I haven't told them. Hey. Maybe you can figure it out. Hypothetically, if I just found a way to pay our writers the least amount of money possible, what exactly did I just promise them per episode? A thousand Jamaican dollars, a thousand Singaporean dollars, a thousand Bahaman dollars, or a thousand Eastern Caribbean dollars? Maybe Bahama? You got it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you wish you could pay us in any of those right now instead of the very expensive U.S. dollars you just lost. Sorry, tough luck. One Jamaican dollar is less than an American penny, so what they're getting is just about 10 bucks per episode. Ah, 
Can you believe it? That's even less than what they've been getting before now. And those traitors idiots bought it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Uh, Connor and the writers were all still standing right outside the booth when you read that question, and now I'm pretty sure they've taken several dumps in your office, and also they have all handed in their immediate resignations, no notice. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. How hard can it be to find a new team of writers? Just hire new ones for next episode, Tyler. Just tell IHR to put out an ad. Sure thing. Uh, oh, there sure is no way this can go wrong. Okay, let's wrap this up. Show me the money, Hitch. All right, let's see what. Let's see if we can try to finish strong here. Quick, comrades. There's just one more thing to do before we can climb the throne. Take this clue. If you'll need it. The ones with all the power. Trying to figure out which heads need to be rolling. Here's where you should start looking. Good luck. Oh, it's a Galactic Empire, isn't it? There you go, first order. Maybe it's Ink Sock. They brought that up twice, so maybe that's it. There we go. The capital. You. The Norse fire party, okay. It's a Galactic Empire, there you go. Brain Sun. There it is. That's all she wrote, and here's where you stand. Yeah, this is not my finest hour. There it is. And that concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack the Rewrite. If you like what you saw here, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment in the section below, and spread the word. This is Tickets Please Gaming, and the arcade is now closed.